Hey guys, John Ross here. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is about copywriting and how to write a content that is going to help you to achieve your goals, whether that's uh, generating leads, sales, or just getting people to engage with something. So we're gonna talk about it step by step. I'm gonna talk about the structure and everything to show you exactly how to write good content, all right? Now the thing about copywriting is that uh, each and every single person has their own uh, different style when it comes to copywriting and has their own formula when it comes to copywriting. So it's gonna be different for everyone, but what I'm gonna share with you is what's working for us and how you can actually apply it. Because copywriting is not just about writing articles, right? It's about writing good emails, or good answers. Whatever you do when it, that, that involves writing, is about copywriting, right? So what we're gonna talk about first is the structure, the step-by-step -step structure of a good copy, and then I'm gonna take you to my computer to show, talk about each and every single one of these steps in detail, all right? So let's talk about them first before I take you to my computer to talk about each and every single one of these in detail. So the first one is the hook. Now the hook is basically what, how you start your article or your content, your sentence, whatever, and that is usually like 20 words and the job of the hook is to just get people interested in your article. You know, it's not about drive value, it's about just getting them interested by maybe talking about your proof, talking about your uh, experience with something or something like that. Again, it's just about getting people interested. Now, one of the good ways to actually uh, get people hooked in, basically, is to use videos. And something I'm gonna show you examples as well when I take you to my computer. But yeah, so that's a really good way to start an article. A hook, you know, 20 words, just keep it simple, it's all about that. So next step is the core. The core is all about, you know, driving the value. That Now this is where you uh, dr basically provide the value that you promised in the hook. You know, the hook was all about getting people in the article, right? So the core is where you drive the value, drive, you know, provide the value and all that stuff. So that's where you get to detail. That's where you talk about your experience with something, whatever your article is going to be about. Now the core itself, that's like the most important part of your article. And that itself has a structure that I'm going to talk about in the video right now, all right? So when it comes to the core of your article, it's all about ETF or easy to follow in structure. All right, so this is something you gotta have in your article, meaning that uh, you don't wanna have you know bulky text or bulky content and all that stuff. So you want it to be easy to follow. Use headlines, use pictures, use videos, all that stuff. Get detailed. And this is something again. I'm gonna show you examples here, but it's really important to understand this stuff. All right, so guys. Let's talk about it. Let's go to my computer. Let me actually show you some details, talk more about each and every single one of these steps in more detail to show you exactly how it's done. All right guys, so let's get into it. So as I said, the first part is gonna be the hook, right? This is where you get people excited about your article or curious about what you have to uh, teach them in that article. So again, the first 20 words of your article that will get people curious or excited about what they're going to learn or read in your article, right? So it's all about a strong start. You know, use the reader's pressure points such as fears in the first five words. You know, if it's it's a, if, if it's a highly competitive area, give them a reason to listen to you and not to other people. You know, like results or anything like that. And then use short intro videos if possible. Uh, it's something I've done in past for really long articles that we've spent like a week to write. So yeah, this is something you can do for really long articles. Not something you have to do. For for everyone, every single article that you write, but yeah. And next one is use numbers and facts to establish authority. This is really important. It helps uh, you know to establish trust, which is something you need in your content, in your copy, right? So this is an example, you know, this is an example of a intro um, to an article. So it, it, again, it's all, this one is all about establishing authority. It's, it's, it's saying that, hey, you're going to learn from super affiliate. So it's all about that, right? Uh, this is another one. It, it, this one addresses fears, right? How, how much an extra 20k will improve your life. So that's about fears, right? So yeah, uh, so this is an example of that. You can take a look at it or you can pause the video to take a look at these guys. All right, so let's talk about the second part, which is the value. So the main core of your content after hook is the value part, right? This is where you deliver what you promised in your hook. So 
So let's talk about this part. It's something I want to kind of uh, get into more details for you guys here. So this is all about an easy to follow structure or ETF. Okay, ETF structure. So let's go through it. So it, the first one is be detailed as possible when giving instructions. So one of the things that I've uh, that I've seen is that when we are um, talking about like really uh, technical stuff or something that it's something that is really niche related for example if you're selling a weight loss product about a specific weight loss um, to a very specific weight loss audience right uh, you can be as detailed as possible and when you are detailed in the copy people actually appreciate it right next one is use images and short videos within the content this is going to help you to keep people on your content and copy um, uh, you know keep him engaged with it and all that stuff and next one is break your sentences as much as possible with bullet points and sub headlines this is really really important uh, keeps your content or article or whatever you want to call it um, readable you know like it doesn't feel bulky right and you make sure your page copy isn't too wide that's another thing you know uh, you want to make sure that your content is not spreading like on the screen the way it looks it's not spreading uh, from one end to another you want it to be really um, you you want the length of the content length of the sentences like the whole your page style in general to be really uh, small not too wide otherwise it's gonna feel really bulky or long uh, when people look at it so it's really important to uh, consider that for example if you go to a versity you're gonna see that uh, we have that really short uh, content so I'll show you that uh, so yeah use engagement tools such as uh, mid content surveys or social media like buttons if possible so this is another thing to get people uh, you know engage get people to engage with your content you know surveys and all that stuff that's a really good way to um, uh, uh, have a good to create a memorable experience for people so take a look at this one for example this is a part of the content as you see we're using images sub headlines and data uh, there's a picture that shows some data from advertising uh, so data in, sh and in short paragraphs to keep the content interesting and if you see it's not wide it's just so you know small that the, and when people see stuff like that when people see sh these uh, the like short style uh, content the, they actually read it there's there's more chance that they're gonna pay attention to it and kind of glance through it all right guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you got some value from it if you did make sure to like this video share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber I'm posting videos every single single day almost every single day uh, so subscribe if you're not a subscriber and also if you want to learn you should definitely check out the gold master class if you're trying to start your own online business and you're just trying to learn all these stuff so if you and if you need a community that is going to help you and also a coach that is going to help you achieve all these stuff you know building your online business the gold master class is definitely the place you want to start so check it out I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description if not that's totally all right. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. And I'll see you in the next one.